On the 8th of April, we honor St. Julie Billiard, who was a French religious leader, social worker, and educator of poor children, who founded and was the first superior general of the Congregation of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur. Born in Cuvillie, France, into a family of well-to-do farmers, young Mary Rose Julie Billiard showed an early interest in religion and in helping the sick and the poor. Though the first years of her life were relatively peaceful and uncomplicated, Julie had to take up manual work as a young teen when her family lost its money. However, she spent her spare time teaching catechism to young people and to the farm laborers. A mysterious illness overtook her when she was about 30. Witnessing an attempt to wound or even kill her father, Julie was paralyzed and became a complete invalid. For the next two decades, she continued to teach catechism lessons from her bed, offered spiritual advice and attracted visitors who had heard of her holiness. When the French Revolution broke out in 1789, Revolutionary forces became aware of her allegiance to fugitive priests. With the help of friends, she was smuggled out of Cuvilly in a hay cart. She then spent several years hiding in Compe, being moved from house to house despite her growing physical pain. She even lost the power of speech for a time. But this period also proved to be a fruitful spiritual time for Julie. It was at this time she had a vision in which she saw Calvary surrounded by women in religious habits and heard a voice saying, Behold these spiritual daughters whom I give you in an institute marked by the cross. As time passed and Julie continued her mobile life, she made the acquaintance of an aristocratic woman, Francois Blinde Baudot, who shared Julie's interest in teaching the faith. In 1803, the two women began the Institute of Notre Dame, which was dedicated to the education of the poor, young Christian girls, and the training of catechists. The following year, the first sisters of Notre Dame made their vows. That was the same year that Julie recovered from the illness. She was able to walk for the first time in 22 years. Though Julie had always been attentive to the special needs of the poor, and that always remained her priority, she also became aware that other classes in society needed Christian instruction. From the founding of the Sisters of Notre Dame until her death, Julie was on the road, opening a variety of schools in France and Belgium that served the poor and the wealthy, vocational groups, teachers. Ultimately, Julie and Francois moved the mother house to Namur in Belgium. Julie died there in 1816. She was canonized in the year 1969. Julie's immobility in no way impended her activities. In spite of her suffering, she managed to co-found a teaching order that tended to the needs of both the poor and the well-to-do. Many modern members of her religious order perform charity today, mainly focused on education and following God and teaching the children what they need to know for life. Placing all our petitions before her today, let us pray. Almighty Father, our life and our love, look upon us with kindness as we celebrate the life of your servant, St. Julie. Give us generous loving hearts and renew within us the desire to proclaim your goodness to all the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.